Good morning guys and welcome back to today. I don't know if this is a new vlog or we're continuing on from yesterday. But today is our free day. We've just had breakfast. Poor mommy woke up at about half six this morning and said, no, I'm not getting out of bed. I'll go back to bed. My God, had I some job waking her up this morning. Um, but I was delighted because she got a really good sleep. So that was happy, happy out with that. But we're going to head into Clarny now. <clears throat> Excuse me for our free morning. Well, we have a free morning and then this afternoon is massage. So um, we're going to go in. We're going to have a look around, see if there's anything nice. Buy ourselves a little treat. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan for today. I'm just, mum's gone in. She's going to just obviously freshen up after breakfast before, oh, excuse me, before we go down for uh, the bus. So there is a bus into town. It is two euros each way. Um, so we're going to get that and have a look. It's a long time since I've been in Clarny. The last time I was down in Clarny, I was trying to think of this. I think it was for my cousin's wedding. I think. I'm not sure. Um, and we stayed in a motorhome. Not a motorhome. A static caravan with the kids. We actually had a ball. Mind you, Kerry had the flu and she was on the sofa. She got through the wedding. And the day after the wedding, I think she got the flu and she was on the sofa. But we had a really, really nice time. Um... So yeah, so I'm actually looking forward to going back into Clarny. I might take the, well, I'm going to take this camera with me. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll video because if it's just me and mum walking around the shops. Um, if there's a unique shop, I'll do that. If it's only pennies, I'll show you. If we buy anything, we'll give you a haul. But yeah, so we're just going for a down day. Right, I better go before she starts knocking on the door. All right, guys, so it is Wednesday evening. We've just come back from dinner. I'll insert a small video of the dinner that we got. All right, so this is Mam's dinner this evening. It is baked cod, baked cod and champ with potatoes, vegetables, carrots and onions, and not onions, cabbage. cabbage. So this is mine. I got filu pastry. It's the vegetarian option. So I got this. It is filu pastry on a tomato sauce base but this is oh wait, let's try and get the inside of this looks fab Ooh. and that is the inside of all the vegetables so it looks absolutely amazing and I got potatoes carrots and cabbage as well bon appetit mummy it was absolutely gorgeous so today um we decided that we were actually gonna have a very chill day this was our off day so we had a late breakfast and then we had <coughs> we went into Clarny Town but Mummy hurt her leg so she got a pair of new shoes she hurt her ankle and the, but the shoe she was wearing wasn't giving her much support excuse me so she decided she'd buy a new pair of shoes and her ankle was killing her so we said right we go home Um. And then what should we do? Oh, then we had, went to the spa. I had a back massage, a neck and head massage, and I also got a facial. So I was chuffed at myself. I also got my hair cut in the, I don't know if it's great light here, but I got my hair cut um, in the hairdressers next door to it. So I wanted it a short bob for a while. So that is what we did. So yeah, so we had a really, really chilled out today. I recorded absolutely very little. Absolutely very little. I was going to say absolutely nothing, but I actually recorded very little today. Tomorrow we're up at seven o'clock because we have breakfast for eight and we have to be on the coach for quarter to 10. We're doing the ring at Kerry. Tomorrow morning's weather is looking a bit dodgy. Rain in the morning. And then it is going to be, it should clear up for the afternoon. And then Friday we're going home. So that is how it's looking. I'm actually looking forward to tomorrow. The coachman did say he would have a new coach for us tomorrow with air conditioning. So fingers crossed. Um, yeah, and then we have a late dinner tomorrow night because we don't get back, I don't think, till half five. So I think our dinner is going to be about half seven. So yeah, so it is a, we had a very, very, very good day today. It was very chilled out. I did get... 
um, a body butter in pennies it was reduced down to two euros so happy out with that but my big thing was getting my hair done getting my massages getting my facial mom got her facial and her back oh she got her facial and her neck and shoulders done and her legs so yeah so she is just a, i mean it's what now half nine and we're all ready to go to bed it was just we finished in the massage and i got my hair done and then by the time i'd come back it was ready for dinner then we went for dinner went for a bit of a walk and now it's dinner now it's bedtime we had such a chill out day today it was really nice so yeah so i am going to head to bed good morning guys it is thursday morning so we are waiting to go on our sorry i'm just moving the be back a little <clears throat> we're waiting to go on the ring of Kerry this morning so we've just had breakfast myself and mum mum's got in she's gonna have a she's gonna get dressed actually so today is meant to be overcast in the morning maybe a shower or two but the afternoon is meant to be damp but damp but dry so I don't know how that works but we'll figure that out I suppose as we go Um. so yeah it's a full day tour today it's starting a quarter to ten and then it I think we're back here about five. There is a stop um, for lunch in is it Milltown. I can't remember. This was all arranged on Tuesday. So my memory, I can't remember where he said we we're going to stop. But yeah, happy days. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to get out in the base again. Yesterday, mom's foot, she got her new shoes, but her foot's feeling much, much better in them. And she's walking much better in them. She was going out to one side. But now with the support, it feels, as she said herself, it feels like it's been held as opposed to her, the shoe she was wearing the last few days is soft on the side. So there's no support in it as such with this one just seems to be a bit more. She's happy. That's all that matters. And they're lovely looking shoes. There's like a sparkle going through them, which is nice. So, yeah, so I'm just waiting. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. I think I'm going to fill up my water from a trip. And that's what I'm going to do. Switch back out of my handbag back into my Kipling um, I think it's called is it a weekend no not a weekend bag is it a mini city medium city city break backpack anyway I am going to do that I've actually nothing in that what I have a couple, oh, I have a couple of tops in it so I'm going to take that off I'll take that off I'm not going to take off the top I'm going to empty that out and then I'm going to pack up what I need for today and that's really it I want to change out of my I wore my wedges down for breakfast so I want to change out of that and I want to put my runners back on because I think there's not much walking because obviously with the crowd there isn't much walking but there's be a bit of walking so it's easier to do it in runners and I must not forget my sunglasses just in case on the rare the rarity that the sun will come out but for what is it today the 3rd of October it's 14 degrees so I mean normally in October it's cold you know that chill is setting in very much of a chill setting in at the moment but um, I must remember my mints as well right I am going to go and I will talk to you when we're on the bus and on our tour so if you look away out to the right that is Dingle Peninsula where we were yesterday we're at the other side this is a lovely quaint town of Glenbay, home to one of our famous blue flag beaches. Uh, there used to be this horse racing on the beach, goes on every year in Glenbay. Uh, there was a child died in it last year, so I don't know it's suspended now after it. It was just one of these freak accidents, unfortunately, and a teenager lost his life. Horse riding came out. It's just starting to open up now. We're getting lucky across at Dingle where we were. So we were over to the other side yesterday. Looking across at this. And as we go up here to our left, if you look back to your right, is each beach where we stopped our first stop yesterday. Back to our right inside. 
a nice breeze coming up here. I just recorded because I want to get a trash yeah. again. So it's behind us there, if you look back to the right, that's it. Mummy just moved this way a little. Very, very famous. Um, it's actually a nice, um, it's a nice, they do whiskey and gin. I don't drink whiskey, I turn into the biggest arsehole with two feet when I drink whiskey. <laughs> All right, so we're in Waterville at the moment. What? See the what? The White House down at the edge of the cliff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear me, but we're going to O'Dwyer's home at 12 for lunch. We're in Waterville. Waterville even, not Charleville. Jesus Christ. I keep saying that. I'd say, ma'am, don't ask me where we are. Get our steps in today, won't we? I do. I just hate being under pressure walking. Yeah. So I just gotta do back this way, just have a look. There's a man playing a squeeze box behind me. That's for Charlie Chaplin. This is the it's erected um it's a holiday here apparently. So that's Mick O'Dwyer, one of Kerry's greatest footballers, Gaelic footballers. We're actually going over to his pub for lunch. There's my mother. Looking great in all her, her splendour. Woo woo! So we can do a thing called the Waterville Heritage Trail. That's it there. And then there's the angling guide for all the different fish you can, you can catch and what bait you need. So now any keen fishers and there is a tap down the bottom that is a refill.ie free tap refills here so you, so you can fill up your water bottles
you don't lose me that quick. Funny, an N70. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it was a big place? So this is Daniel O'Connell. This was his where he reared his children, and him and his wife lived. You ready? Abbey Island. Abbey Island. Look at the chair done into a. It's nice. It's turned into a chair. Yeah, that's what I meant. Gorgeous. You enjoy yourself, Mummy. I am. Even if I have to keep telling you where you are. I know. And what it is. I know. I said we were in Waterville and I said to Mum, I said, Jesus in Charleville good. And she says, Charleville's in Cork. She says, You're in Wa Waterville. Yes. <laughs> said, Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't know. We are having a good time. Of course I am. Lovely. And are you enjoying the food and the Yeah, I can't get over that we have such lovely weather. But then I brought you with me and the See, diva looks look after his own. The, the diva, diva look he does, he does ma'am. There's his church. Oh, oh there's his church. That's his own private church. There. That's the house is all getting done up. Office of Public Works. Yeah, it's been preserved. Yeah, it's gorgeous looking though, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. Oh, mind, man, we just flick back in my car to get us caught. No. It's got around my arm. Go the way. This is his own right. private church. The gardens and all are beautiful, aren't they? We'll go in the church in a minute, will we? Yeah. What's over here? A fairy path. So we have the fairy part, path gardens and the South American plant collection. Okay guys, so this is 30 final dinner. Final dinner mummy. You're looking very pretty and very sparkly. Love you do love sparkles. You were a magpie, yeah. I was gonna say. So the menu tonight is vegetable samosas, classic caprice salad, which is buffalo mozzarella, plum tomatoes, rocket and basil pesto. Or there's soup of the day. I think we'll find out what soup of the day is. And then there for the main courses we have roast leg of Irish lamb, supreme of breaded chicken. Pan fried sea bass or penne, penne pasta, and then there are sides if you want. And then down here for desserts, we've got warm apple pie, a trio of profiteroles, mixed berry meringue next, and fresh tea and coffee. So, mommy, what are you going to go for? I'm going to see what the soup is, yeah, and then I'm going to have sea bass, and then I'm torn between profiteroles and the nest. Oh, you do friends. like a nest. You can buy a bit of rolls at home, but you wouldn't buy a nest. No. So I'd say what we'll I'd see. then. Okay, I think I'm going to go again, find out what the soup is, and I'm going to go for the lamb, and then professor rolls for dessert. So that is tonight's dinner. <laughs> Good afternoon. 
I have made it back to Galway. I didn't record anything on the way up. Myself and Mam dozed on the bus coming up. It was just, yeah, we were very chilled and very relaxed, but very tired after excursions and all that eating it nearly killed us. But on the way up, I got a phone call off um, from the house to say that there was water coming down from my kitchen ceiling. So half the journey coming home, I was trying to organize a plumber to get out to the house. Lucky enough, one of my friends um, is a plumber. So I just rang him and it was just funny. He said to me, he said, how did you time that to 10 minutes before lunch break? I was like, it's just the way it happened. So he flew over, they managed, it was a flexi hose, something gone on the coal top in the bathroom and it flooded the bathroom. So hence, it was coming through the ceiling, but he said, look, there'll be no damage, it'll dry out, it'll be grand. So I said, like, grand, okay. So yeah, so we've had an exciting, then I had work on the phone to me because I'm going up to a client on the way home. So they were on, they were saying, look, this is the drama that happened today. You just have to be aware you're walking into it and because you're fresh ears, it'll probably all kick off again when you arrive at the house. So I was like, grand, grand no problem. So yeah, so stuff like that was quite funny. Well, it wasn't funny, but like the whole week and I will hands off, I will take my hat off to the kids um, at home and Kerry. They didn't text me. They weren't, you know, <clears throat> they were very quiet. If they said goodnight or if something happened in college, they were letting me know. You know, like it wasn't, they weren't constantly contacting me of different stuff, you know, so and I appreciate that. I appreciate the total downtime work didn't contact me and it was like as if they heard oh she's coming back she should be on the bus at 11 and all of a sudden at 11 o'clock my phone start blown up it was just even my mom was like what the hell is going on and i was like i don't know mommy but yeah but i'm glad i had a few days away because things came in they didn't fade me i just got them sorted as you do as you do but anyway we're on our way home i collected my car off kerry she didn't go joyriding in it, which is nice to know. So I've just stopped to fill up for some diesel. I knew going down there wasn't much diesel left in her, so I knew collecting her I'd have to fill her up. So I'm after doing that. Got my phone on charge, picked up a sandwich for myself. These are the luxurious, now here we go, luxurious baked ham and cheddar bloomer. Um, I actually had this a few times. It's sort of my favorite sandwich for when I'm traveling. Um, and oh, it's, it's tasty so I got myself one of them because we did have a full Irish breakfast before we left the hotel so like I'm not exactly starving but I'm getting pecky so I'm gonna have this be my tea I picked up a packet of crisps the snacks crisps um, that's all oh, coffee I got a coffee as well but I got a night a cold coffee because it's quite warm today it's 16 degrees out at the moment the breeze isn't cold now it is excuse me 26 so it will start cooling down I just really didn't fancy um, a hot chocolate or a hot chocolate, a hot coffee. I just didn't fancy a hot drink, but I didn't fancy a fizzy drink either. So I thought, and I have water here. So I just thought a nice iced coffee. And I do have the Circle K app, so it does save you a few, Bob. It saves you three, at the moment it saved me three centiliter because I'm hitting the threshold constantly to get the maximum saving. So happy out. It is a service, so it is slightly dearer the petrol but it means going forward we'd be grand so back in work this evening I'm going to do my evening client on the way home Um, as I said my boss was on to me this morning today so I know sort of what I'm going up to face so yeah happy out dying absolutely dying to get home to see well the kids but the pup oh I've missed him so much even going to bed at night I'm in this lovely big double bed and there's me no pup in it and I'm like what do you what do you do with a bed where there's no dog taking up half the bed like so um yeah that was a bit weird but I really really thoroughly enjoyed my well it was what five days well four and a half because I worked a half day Sunday so four and a half of just total downtime being on a coach being chauffeured around being showing all the sights and just enjoying someone else doing the driving as i said my kids work everything very respectful no one was messaging me crazy so i enjoyed that and then the food oh my god the food was phenomenal 
I have never ate so much in my life. Um, I really enjoyed it. So I was saying to mum when we were leaving, I said, you're, you know, do you fancy doing this next year? Now her friend normally goes with her. So she was like, well, if Audrey can't go with me, um, will we do it again? And I was like, yeah, 100%. So we're gonna have a look. Now I wouldn't mind going back to the same place. I don't think mum would mind going back to the same place. But because obviously I'm based in Dublin, and mum can come up and stay at me the day before, two couple of days beforehand. I am looking. I said to her, I said, "Well, we look and see if there's anywhere other hotel offering it." So she was like, "Oh, okay." So that's what we're going to do. We might end up back at the same place. I wouldn't complain if I was. You know, there's worst worst hardships out there. But oh my God, absolutely phenomenal break. And as I said, enjoyed every part of it. The entertainment. There was entertainment on every night. A live band or. Um, a live band yeah there was live bands every night now there was some very country and western music which I wouldn't be 100% into um, there was other guys who did like pub sing-alongs there was women up dancing they were doing waltzing there was everything like there was something to chittle everyone's fancy which I really enjoyed and when we were leaving I actually was, I was saying I would love to stay an extra day for the simple reason of there was the barbershop singers there was a competition being held and some of them were practicing in the lobby oh my god phenomenal phenomenal i could have sat and listened to them and i'm sort of raging that the competition was starting the day we were leaving in saying that there wouldn't have been probably enough rooms if we if we all would have 50 odd of us would have been there and then but oh my god yeah listening to them and it was lovely it was after dinner they were sitting around and they were just singing and it was like wow you know anyway I'm going to leave it there I'm gonna head up the road I've only got about an hour and a half left so I'm gonna get up the road it's been a long day though we left the hotel <coughs> excuse me at 10 o'clock this morning it is now 20 to 6 and I still have another hour and a half to go so it is a long day the only thing is I've got my morning client tomorrow so hopefully I won't have to um, I won't be all day with her and we'll be grand. So I just keep saying, if I can just get asleep tonight, I'll be grand tomorrow. I'll catch back up on myself. So yeah, so, right, I'm gonna leave it there and I will talk to you my next one, guys. I really hope you enjoyed those couple of days with me and Kerry. I know scenic tours like that are not to everybody's cup of tea, but yeah, we're back to normality now going forward and we're on the countdown to Christmas, dare I say it dare I say it I have said it so yeah so we now have to get the house sorted and yeah then it'll be time for vlogmas and hitting into the vlogs and decorating and all that malarkey won't be long coming around someone did say to me it's only two paychecks left till Christmas I thought holy sugar that still sounds soon that sounds really soon anyway I'll go I'll talk to you soon guys take care of yourselves bye bye